apartment. So hi guys, yes, I moved again or rather in the process of moving and this is an empty apartment tour. So if you watch my vlogs, actually, sorry, I'm so scattered. Hi, my name is Kamsi Namani <laughs> and if you are new, welcome. I am a Lagos based YouTuber and I just got a new apartment. So if you watch my vlogs, you know that I have been saying something has been stressing me out. I've been, my emotions have been up and down and literally it is because of house hunting in Lagos. I actually wanted to do like a house hunting video, but I kept crying, so I kept crying. I literally didn't film me anymore, but I do have videos of the places I went to, which I will show in this video later on. Wow, I don't know if the echo is going to show in this video, but yes, guys, I'm so happy. Uh, this journey has been, I don't even know, it's been a lot, and <laughs> I don't even know where to start. But basically, I've been house hunting for, I'll say, six months, to be honest. I started Papa Papa in February. It was honestly just, it was so emotionally draining. I kept complaining on my vlogs because I was just, I was just get constantly disappointed. Where I eventually got my apartment, guys, the minute I walked inside here, I was just like, this is going to be my place. I don't even know why I said it, but it just felt like it ticked all the boxes. I needed constant electricity. I wanted windows because you guys know that I was really lacking that in where I was staying before. Like right now, guys, there's, there are no official lights. This is just natural lighting and it's currently almost five. It's a freaking brand. <laughs> and what else did I want? I just, I wanted a place that was quiet. I didn't want to just the apartment itself to be nice. I wanted the surroundings to be nice. I wanted to be able to feel safe as a woman living in Nigeria. So I was really big on security. And unfortunately, when you have all these things on your list, it costs a lot of money. And I just feel like this is a, this is a, bare, <laughs> this is a bare minimum. Why is it? Why is this termed as luxury? I want to feel safe and I want windows. I don't even know. Guys, the windows cost a lot of money because the new developments in Lagos, I don't know if they are if they are beefing with windows because these places are literally like stores. No windows at all. So yeah, so I started the journey and the first apartment I saw inside this place, I loved it so, so, so much, but it was so small, guys. Like it was literally so small, but I loved the layout and everything and it was way it was even more expensive than this place and this place is actually bigger than that one and i was still considering it but to be honest i didn't really push for it and it ended up going to someone else and even though i knew that deep down it wasn't the best deal to be honest it still hurt me so much i was supposed to film like an apartment hunting video but i just kept feeling so down like i would invest so much time because you guys know i'm into interior design and it's one of the reasons i really wanted a place that i could work with because it's going to be part of my content whenever i walk into a place i kind of have to see myself living in there and see okay what can i do to this place that i know if it's truly mine or not so imagine after spending hours on pinterest or whatever trying to make this place into yours and like okay i can actually live here it ends up going to someone else it was just like heartbreak upon heartbreak and even though like my friends would not be like okay so why just why are you not wasting your time designing it if you haven't even gotten it i'm like that's the only way i can know if i truly want the space or not so it was like i couldn't escape it so after that one i was shown a three bedroom apartment again in this same space so i kept coming back to this place and i was like this has to be replaced and that one was even cheaper than the two bedroom but that one had no lighting whatsoever and it was actually open plan i really wanted open plan i don't know why i'm not <laughs> actually i know why i just felt like it was more aesthetically pleasing and again guys i don't cook so much um, so I felt like one, it would actually make me cook more and two, I'm not really a fan of like all the really, really native foods that have a lot of smell. So I was not, not really bothered about the whole place smelling like food. So I really wanted open plan, even though as time went on, I was like, girl, you have to make an exception because open plan again, seems to be more expensive. <laughs> so um, the second one, three bedroom was open plan, but guys, it was just too dark. But I was even about to settle. And one thing I have to tell you is that if you're house hunting, you have to be patient. I was lucky enough not to be in a hurry to move out because I know that that's the main issue for people. Like they need to leave their 
old places so that so that their rent is up and everything but lucky for me i was in a hurry so i was really able to take my time like I ended up <laughs> I ended up making friends with my agents. I, I just stuck with two agents because honestly guys, finding agents that actually listen and comprehend what you're saying in this place is so tough. Like they just feel like whatever you they give you, take it. Like why you why do you have a choice? And I'm like, ha, this is some place that I'm investing a lot of my money in because again, with all the things I wanted, I realized that I had to increase my budget. It was just not possible to get what I wanted, even though I don't think what I wanted was so much but I, ju I just realized like girl you have to actually increase your budget and you have to take a risk on yourself i know what i want to achieve with this space the content i want to create i want to improve my craft i was running out of ideas i was so uninspired in where i was like now this is so bright so airy so breezy like when i come out i'll feel like yeah, yeah what are we gonna do today i'm happy and all of that so um after that i saw one other place i love so much <laughs> even though i knew there was no way i was gonna get that because it was just it was not just out of my it was <laughs> first of all it was for sale not even for rent so i already knew that was a big no-no but guys i'm just gonna show you that one it was i was blown away again open plan that was my baby and obviously i wasn't gonna work but i just put it there <laughs> and then i now found a place again that was actually in a better i don't know if i say better but it was like the best location so far i had seen but guys the lighting was so bad i just didn't like it i did like i liked it but i felt like i was settling and i was so close to buying it i was so, I was so close to renting <laughs> buying not yet but god's grace and oh yeah i'm forgetting the, for the three bedroom apartment i was actually going to that morning i was going to actually go pay and I had called them like, oh, I'm about to go pay. And they're like, yeah, 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 go pay. Next thing he called me that someone had beat me to it. And in that one, I cried, cried so much. I cried because I was not actually getting tired. I felt like, come to you, like, you're just being too picky. You just have to, like, manage. Even though I felt like I was already managing. And I cried so badly because I delayed a bit. I don't know why I was delaying. But when I said, I was like, I'm very impatient. So normally me, I'll pay. But I don't know why I delayed. And looking back now, I just feel like it's all good. Because every single delay, every single rejection, where I eventually got was better than all those options by far. So when I went to the one that was in a better location, but the lighting was bad, um, again, I was about to pay. And then this one popped up. And I was like, this same estate like i kept seeing that this one was for me and when i even came here honestly i wasn't even i didn't actually think i was gonna like be interested and when i came out, i was like you know what i actually think this is the one and how everything just went about like it's just when it's yours it's yours that's just all i can say and yeah i did like my two agents really really helped me what i'm gonna say is that you have to honestly um have a good relationship with your agents because Finding agents that understand you and everything is so hard and mine, I had to actually explain to them what I wanted. Like I told them what I did. I needed this to look like this and I'm going to change a lot. So I don't need something too perfect because again, I didn't want something that was too done because I, I knew I was going to change a couple of things. So I wanted a place that would give me some freedom to like, I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, I hope I kind of covered everything. I'm just really happy. Um, I actually didn't want a huge space because to me, honestly, that just equals a lot of money spent in interior decor. And again, I didn't want to, and I'm doing myself, I don't want to feel like, oh my God, I'm all alone in this huge space. So I wanted a place that was a bit comfy, you know, cute, small and cute, but not too small. And I honestly think that is what I got with this. I'm so excited and you know show you guys the journey this is more me this is i just feel like this is mine and yeah i'm going to definitely share my journey a lot more in this space i just want to give you guys a brief um empty apartment so i think from I think around this week i'm going to start moving in gradually they're just cleaning up and i'm going to get the keys tomorrow so yeah let's just do a brief one all right guys it's actually about to rain so right now we're in the living room area so let's start off with the start of the show so we have the kitchen again this is again open plan what i really really wanted from the beginning and yeah this is the island so you can you know make your meal da -da -da, wash up <laughs> i just put in the that came with the apartment. Um, the microwave also did come with the apartment. Um, I was going to tell you like a sneak peek about what I'm going to use this place. I think it's going to be the first place I'm going to actually 
change up and this is going if you watch my videos you know that i don't like bulky structures and i'm going to be very happy to take this out i just that's just one of the things i tell you guys but yeah i really do love this i just feel like it's a little bit different again this space is not too big but i wanted something i could work with and i feel like this is just so cute and this is where the fridge is going to be that's like this switch right here um so when you now turn over here so we have a fireplace this is now the living area one thing i love about the units in this building is that they all have this I mean, not all actually but specific areas all have these um windows what they call these granites so this is the one here and again it's so airy i can't show you guys the view but let me show you the veranda so that's a cute patio moment i think it's this this here but yeah i can put like a couch here i can come out to read and just take in the air it's so airy i cannot believe this like so yeah i don't really sure what i would use here for honest i actually wasn't gonna do like a dining because but yeah i probably will because i don't know what this is supposed to be this area because right here is the kitchen i will also try and put um bar stools maybe no probably but later on guys this is going to be small small because i ain't gonna lie <laughs> but yeah so probably just like a cute dining somewhere here we'll figure it out you and i um, coming over to here, sorry, awkward. Um, this is the second room. This is what I plan to use as my office. Uh, you guys, my white big table is going to be here. Not really sure what to do with here. I don't think I actually want this, but again, I don't know. Everything is up in the air at this point. But yeah, this is the second room. Quite small, like I said. So. And I'm not creating a guest room, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that people don't get too comfortable. So this is the bathroom of the second one. We have the mirror here. Um, again, I'm not sure. Open up like a cabinet type thing. This is the sink. It has this as well. Then the shower. It's a window. Again, have a lot of rental friendly hacks to pay here. Again, I'm the first person moving in, which is something I really, really like. Like, I'm, guys, I hate bathtubs so badly. And a lot of the things I actually like, we just have a bathtub, and it was immediately, you know, I just didn't want that at all. And especially if I wasn't the first person, it just felt, I don't know. So, yeah, and then we now going into the master bedroom, aka in my room. This is what we have. Again, really small, so I'm definitely going to change how my whole vibe in this room, as opposed to what I did in the last my last um, room makeover. It's going to be a lot more minimal, not doing too much because I already have an office, so that's why I said that the white table again won't be here. I just want this to be like bedroom. All I have to do here is sleep, so that I can use every area of the house equally and all of that. So I will, I will even put a TV here because make me come on but yeah this is the um wardrobe <laughs> this wardrobe space I'm just gonna say. but i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do here but i definitely have some ideas to change up this place so just stay tuned um yeah we have some pull out drawers and stuff so looking forward to what we do this is where the bed is going to be i'm making a new bed for this space I'm not exactly sure when, but yeah, so it's gonna be here and look at this window. Guys, the windows are what's seen. <laughs> and this is the bathroom. So I actually do love this shape of this one. It's just not, I think it's actually, okay, no, that one is smaller. Yeah, that one is small. Yeah, so this is the bathroom. I really love this wall thing. Again, I'm just thinking floating cabinets for. You know bathroom necessities again it's the same mirror i'm gonna change this <laughs> but i love this and the storage underneath i think we just wash this place and then this is the shower the shower is like in a triangle shape 
shower. Oh yeah, and it stops here. When I do like my shower routine, it's going to be a lot more easier. It's going to be a lot easier, sorry. It's going to be a lot easier to shower. I guess it's for short people. I'm actually not sure, but yeah. The cool, cool thing about this is that it actually has a drain. So if any water comes in, the drain just takes it out. It's not going to soak up anything. And yeah, guys, that's actually the empty apartment core. Yeah, again, I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so grateful to you guys. This wouldn't have been possible at all if you guys want to support me in my videos, not liking it, engaging me, everything. And anything that requires change is going to be scary. I don't know, it's not going to be comfortable, but we're going to do up this space together. So yeah, watch out for the moving vlogs. I might not be as consistent because it's actually a lot of work talking with different artisans, setting up things, moving up and down, and just finalizing things for the apartment. So if I'm not as consistent, please understand. But guys, I'm so, so happy. I'm finally going to be able to relax after this whole process. But yeah, I think after this one, you should expect moving vlogs. Hope you guys love this video and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!